Hey, this is John Brock, the SketchUp for Builders guy. In this video, I would like to introduce to you five new features that we've added for Framer for SketchUp. Now, some of you may know me as a custom home builder and designer, a 3D modeler. I'm also author of SketchUp for Builders, and I'm also a SketchUp developer uh, with Estimator for SketchUp being one of our products and Framer for SketchUp being one. And so a couple years ago, we put out Framer uh, because we needed a parametric way of framing our walls and then getting real-time takeoffs with Estimator. We also work for builders across the country in a process called Constructability 3D, where they send us their drawings, their architectural and their structural, and we blend them together and create really detailed 3D structural models in SketchUp, and we can point out issues and problems. So my team and I use Framer for SketchUp every day, not just for our construction projects, for those projects as well. And so there's a lot of new features that we've been wanting that have been on the wish list, and now we have five new ones to introduce to you today. So let's check it out. Okay, so the first feature that we want to talk about is moving walls. In the old version of Framer, if you wanted to move a wall like this one, say move it over 24 inches, you had to use the uh, move tool that comes with Framer. You couldn't use native SketchUp tools. Now you can natively move walls. Before, it used to just jump it right back after you edited it to its original location where it was drawn inside of SketchUp. But now, when you edit a wall, you right click, edit Framer wall. Let's say you wanted to make that uh, 10 feet tall. So 10 feet and enter and it's going to change it in place. So that's great. Great new change. The second one is a, adding a bottom offset. Now if you've used Framer before you know we've got end and start and end offsets to the sheathing. Well used to you know covering a band like this this 2 by 10 and 3 quarter inch subfloor we couldn't cover that sheathing now to the bottom. Well now you can right click on it edit frame at wall and choose the bottom offset. Let's say 10 inches for the nine and a quarter plus three quarters and we're done. All right. The third feature is matching properties. So if you've used Framer before, you know when you model a wall, you pick the start condition and the end condition uh, and the offsets. Like this one has one stud to start out with, but we have a six inch pull of the sheathing to cover this six inch wall. Same token, when we get down here, we've got a left hand California corner. The next wall starts with one stud but it ends with a California corner to the right and the sheathing is pulled back six inches with that offset. And then you're repeating the process and you're kind of using uh, your back and forth changing parameters. Well now this next wall we know is gonna be similar to this wall. So I can right click on this wall and say copy frame or wall. And then the dialog box will pop up with all those parameters and I can just simply hit okay and come down to where I need to draw my wall, pick my two points and we've got the same exact wall conditions with the overlap and the California corner waiting for the next wall. The next item is we're going to be able to now add uh, stacked openings. So I've been wanting this for a long time because lots of times we get picture windows over top of doors or, or a whole stack of them. So this is a 12 foot wall and so we've got a five foot door in here. So let's say that we want to add a window that is five feet wide, okay? And let's go for 24 inches tall. And we've got a header height that is 10 foot 10.25, 10 foot 10 and a quarter according to our plans. All right, and uh, we're gonna tuck that header all the way up so we don't want a top plate on our, on our header. So we click okay, and I can just pick the midpoint of that one. I'll just do all of them while we're here. Midpoint, midpoint, and midpoint, enter. So cool, now we have stacked openings. So that's a, that's a big one we've been waiting on for a while. Another feature is adding multiple king studs. We've always had the ability to, if I was to select this wall and right click and say, edit frame or window. We've always had multiple jacks, but now we've added multiple king studs. So sometimes on our structural plans, a structural engineer will call out for maybe uh, you know, two king studs and maybe three jacks and uh, we used to have to add those manually. Now it's done automatically. So that's a, the fifth feature. We've also had a couple of bug fixes along the way. So anyways, hope you like this. Hope you get to check out Framer. Uh, feel free to reach out to John uh, at any time. John at estimatorforsketchup.com, John at brockworksinc.com. You can find me somewhere. Thanks for watching.